Hi, this is Tim Dolber from Sampletude and Sequoia. Today we're going to take a look at the FFT filter. It's an amazing EQ that's exceedingly powerful once you learn the basic tools around it. The basic tools meaning here's the frequency range along the top and then here's the incredible amount of boost and cut that is available on an FFT filter. All of this is done phase linear and it runs off of the exact same type of process that the spectral cleaner does. So if you're used to the spectral cleaner, it's that same type of principle but put into a different type of graphic user interface. There's a couple really unique tools in here that I want to show you through. First, as far as just drawing your EQ curve, you have a pencil you can simply do it with. Or of course the step line. We also have a bump. Now, all of these are made for whatever audio that you have going through it. In this case, we have a vocal track. You can do huge amounts of cut. Very, very effective for cleaning out problem frequencies and uh, glitches and anything else that's happening um, where you need a massive amount of EQ cut, but you don't want it to affect the sound in an adverse way. So through some trial and error, you can really dial in some great, great fixes. But today we're going to look at the sound cloner, this area down here. What this is made for is to take the EQ curve off of one wave file or object in this case, and apply that EQ curve to another object or wave file. So in this scenario that I'm going to show you through, we're looking at a vocal take uh, from a mix where I sent the mix to the band, they listened to it, and then back came a small MP3 file from the vocalist saying, I don't like the way I sang this specific line, can you fly this file in instead? This happens all the time in real life. Usually if it's close enough, I can just fix it using the object editor and just using the EQ and add some maybe d different room sounds to it to try to match it up with the original take. Uh, but it's always, always a hassle to deal with. So when it's really bad, I open up the FFT filter and I use a sound cloner to apply the EQ curve from the good part of the vocal takes to this new file, which is obviously less than, than par. So let's take a look on how that's done. So first, let's zoom in on the area. We're going to fly this wave file in. Let's cut right about there and right there. Let's drag this new file in. Let's take a listen to it. And say to yourself, wish. Now let's take a listen to the part that's actually recorded well. Uh, it only and we'll let this play right into the part that's bad. Not someone you'd meet and say to yourself, wish that was me. So we have a bit of an AM radio effect happening here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set our cursor over the object we're working on. FFT filter requires that for sound cloning. Open up the FFT filter. And we're going to choose learn. So it will learn the EQ curve of that 20 second or more stretch of audio. And then we're going to save it. Let's turn it off so it's no longer on that object. And we'll go to the object now that's bad that's in question. And we're going to load an FFT filter there. And then we're going to load that preset that it saved with the EQ curve. And that's in the new EQ curve that's going to be applied to the object. So let's take a listen with the new EQ curve. Not someone you'd meet and say to yourself, wish that was me. So it gets us about 95% of the way there with just a little bit of tweaking left to do. Of course, there's a strength control, so you can actually, how much it's going to do, you can actually change that while keeping the same curve characteristics or increase it to dial in a little bit more here, a little bit less there. Uh, also, of course, there's an overall volume. And you can also inverse this so you can actually listen to it as Not such. someone you'd meet and say to yourself, wish that was me. Which is just inverting the EQ curve for you. So this is a very powerful tool that I use all the time to match up these weird files that get sent to me um, from every sound source that you can imagine. Anyway, give the FFT filter a try. Put it through its paces. I really think that you'll find this a useful tool to know about and have in your arsenal.